Hey, welcome to Viking Preparedness. I am Pastor Joe Fox, and I thought I'd talk to you in this video about PRK, uh, getting the lasers on your eyes, getting that done from a preparedness prepper survivalist perspective. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying, right? That was a phrase we had when I was in Special Forces, and, and we continued it by saying, if you get caught, you weren't trying hard enough. I had to cheat three times to get into Special Forces with my eyes because I'm colorblind. And once you get in, they don't kick you out for being colorblind, but they weren't letting people in when I went through, so I had to cheat. My eyes were never great as far as visual acuity goes, and I, I think when I joined, your eyes had to be correctable to 2020, and, and mine were. And so I wore glasses and or contacts from the time I was in eighth grade. And you know, I have a thousand videos up on this channel and uh, most of them I'm wearing glasses in them. And so a couple months ago, four months ago to be precise, I got PRK. And the reason I got PRK over LASIK is that they don't let you in the military with LASIK. At least they didn't when I was in. Something to do with blast pressures or concussion can knock the lens right off your eye if you've had LASIK, but not the same with PRK. And so I figured, okay, and when I got out of the military, about the time I was transitioning out, they started giving PRK to Special Forces soldiers. And now I think, I think almost anybody in the military can get PRK now, now that they've gone through it. But I had to pay for mine. And so this is kind of an update on that and what I think about it for preparedness and such like. My eyes were pretty bad. I was 2400 right before I had my surgery done, which means without my glasses, I couldn't see anything. That's a liability. Uh, I had lots of extra pairs of glasses just in case, but without my glasses, I couldn't see anything. Also, when I had my glasses on, if I was doing any kind of physical activity, they would fog up. And so then I'd have to take them off and then I couldn't see anything. You know, it's six of one, half dozen the other. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. And so my wife uh, convinced me, and I think it was a great idea, to spring for the PRK. Um, it costs about $3,000. They charge by how bad your eyes are, and I can't imagine someone could have much worse eyes than me. And so I had it done. And with LASIK, the recovery is almost instantaneous. You can see that day and everything's good. With PRK, uh, not so much. It took about a week of painful, uh, sore eyes where I could see better than I could before without my glasses, but I was far from 2020. Uh, that, that's kind of what that first week was like. And then my eyes started getting better and it took a couple weeks for my eyes to get anywhere near 2020. So for a while there, you're kind of in limbo. You know, your glasses don't work anymore. You see better without them than you did, but you still don't see very good and there's no way to correct it. The pain was, uh, it was there for a couple days, um, but then it went away. And the good news is right now, four months after my surgery, I just, I'm coming back from a checkup I have 2015 vision, and they think that's gonna clarify a little bit more over the next couple months. 2015, I can see at 20 feet what the average person can see, the average person with good eyes can see at 20 feet. So there you go. Um, and it might get a little bit better, hopefully 2010. I told them I wanted 2010, <laughs> we'll see. But I tell you, it's a wonderful thing to be able to see. I wear these glasses all the time uh, just to protect my investment. They're just safety glasses and then they have little cutouts on them on the bottom like for uh, reading glasses because I have to have corrective lenses to read because I'm over 40 and that's just kind of a common thing. Um, but I can see my watch without my reading glasses so that's cool. They thought I wouldn't be able to do that either and so I am well pleased with my surgery and with my recovery. And I'm telling you from a prepper standpoint, man, if you don't know, if you can't see, you don't know what it's like to see. I can see so good. I can see things 
I can see leaves on trees, whereas before I just saw smudges. <laughs> I can see deer through the woods, you know, just like a little ear flicking here and there. I can read all the street signs way out there. When I see the street sign pretty much, I can read it. And so, yeah, from a preparedness standpoint, man, worth the money. This uh, company that I went to um, in Tulsa, Oklahoma, they guarantee my vision for life. If it gets worse, they will tweak it for free. The surgery itself took, I don't know, 10 seconds, 15 seconds. It took longer to stick those little metal clips in my eyelids to hold my eyelids open, and that didn't hurt. Um, felt weird, but it didn't hurt. It took, took longer to do that than it did to do the surgery on my eyes. It was amazing how fast it went. Um, no discomfort or pain during the surgery at all. Afterwards, yeah, it hurt a little bit for a couple days. My eyes were sore. And then I, they gave me directions when I left. I, I should have been putting ice on my eyes more often than I did. Um, but there you go. So, if it's within your financial ability to do so, if you wear glasses or corrective lenses now and when you don't have them on, you don't see very well, I highly recommend you get PRK. Um, and I recommend PRK over LASIK, same, same price. They didn't care. They said it's the same price for PRK and LASIK. It's just PRK has a longer recovery. I said, give me that, sign me up for that. So I'm pleased. Uh, I think if you get it, you will be too. 2015, baby. Oh yeah, I will see you out there.